singer of his own band called The Wildest, and they can be seen this week at Resorts International in Atlantic City. Folks, please welcome Sam Butera. Sam. <laughs> I'm just a gigolo. gigolo. Everywhere I go, gigolo. people know the part I play. Gigolo. 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 Pay for every dance, selling each woman, saying letterman, what they say. That they will come a day when youth will pass away. And what will they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just a gigolo. Life goes on without me, cause. I ain't got no body. Yes, and there's no body that cares for me. There's no body that cares for me. I'm so sad, sad and lonely, sad and lonely. Want some sweet mama? Yes, ain't got a chance with me, cause I ain't so bad. I'm a singer. I ain't got no body. Yes, there is no body that cares for me. There's no body that cares. Sam, Sam Butera. <laughs> sounds great. Thank you, Paul. Dave, Dave, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Dave. That's all right. Don't worry about it. How you doing? It's so nice to be here with you, man. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it. Nice to have you here. Now, that's, uh, of course, people may uh, recognize that song as uh, one that was made popular again not too long ago by David Lee Roth. Yeah. Very, very similar. similar. Similar arrangements. They stole the whole arrangement, not similar. They stole it. That's right. I wrote this arrangement 30 years ago. I was nine years old. <laughs> you know, I'm lying like a rug. Yeah. Right? But uh, did you have ill feeling about uh, his hit with that song? No, because it, at least the people are aware of, this, of the kind of music we used to play, you know, and we still do. Yeah. And uh, now the kids are listening to our kind of music once again, so yeah. that's super. Yeah. Uh, now tell me about your schedule. You, you work a lot, don't you? Well, this year we've got 50 weeks booked. We do 24 in Vegas, 24 in Atlantic City, two in Reno. Uh -huh. That's great. The rest of the time we're en route. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which do you prefer, Atlantic City or Las Vegas? Well, Las Vegas is home, but I love working in Atlantic mm -hmm. City. I love the people, you know, yeah, yeah. on the East Coast. They're yeah. wonderful. Uh, now, when you, you when you work these lounges, you get uh, you get uh, stars that come in to see it. Oh you? yeah. Yeah. 
We get guys like uh, Engelbert came in, uh, Wayne Newton. Uh, Wayne Newton came in to see you? Oh, sure. Yeah, now, what is, what is that like when he shows up? What is it like? Yeah, is it, oh. is it like a, a, a hush falls over the crowd? Or? Oh, <laughs> no, he's nice people. Yeah, no, but I mean, <laughs> I think people would be, uh, would be awestruck if... Uh, no, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's very nice people. He's yeah. always been nice to us, yeah. and, uh, you know, and I've, I've been knowing him since he was a little boy when he first started in the lounges in yeah. Vegas. Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, about 1955, 56. Yeah, yeah. And you, you enjoy living in Las Vegas? Now? Oh, sure. Play golf in 115 degrees. 115 degrees. You hit the ball, go look for a tree. <laughs> uh, Sam, I, uh, we, we got to do a commercial. Uh,